to Eating Well with Rochelle. So for today's video, I'm doing a bunch of different types of granola bars, which I know is common uh, for my videos, but I think it's really important because as someone with any sort of food intolerance or allergy, you always have to have an emergency bar in your uh, purse. And so, you know, I, I'm always trying to switch it up so that when I frequently have to use the emergency bar, it's not always the same one. So this is the first bar and it is the peanut butter, apple spice, and oats Bob's Better Bar. It's gluten-free, non-GMO, whole grain, um, certified gluten-free, certified non-GMO, certified um, carb kosher, and the only major top eight allergen that it contains is peanuts. So let's give it a try. So I like these bars. I will say that this one is like maybe a little bit dry, but it's not typical granola. It's more like pressed because of the peanut butter and the fact that it's heavily fruit based. I do really like the apple spice with the peanut butter. I wasn't sure how I was going to like that, but it's really good. So I give it, I give it a G, um, even though it is a little dry. So next, moving on, I have another flavor of these bars from Bob's Red Mill. This one is peanut butter, banana, and oats, Bob's Butter Bar. And again, it's certified gluten-free, certified non-GMO, certified par kosher, and the only top eight allergen is peanut. So let's give it a try. So I like this flavor better than the first flavor. I think the banana adds a moisture that the apple just wasn't as good at adding. Um, and peanut butter banana is like such a classic combo that I think um, just mentally it makes more sense um, and I really like it. I, I knew ahead of time that this is my favorite flavor from the brand and I, I secretly wanted to share it. Next bar I have is called This Bar Saves Lives and it's Madagascar Vanilla Almond and Honey. It is gluten-free, certified non-GMO, certified OUD kosher, and um, the only top eight allergen it contains is almonds, uh, but it is manufactured in facility with other allergens. So let's give it a try. I do like this one, but it is more traditional granola, and so it is just inherently drier. The Madagascar vanilla and the honey flavor do really come out, especially the more you chew it, and it is really good. Um, but if you aren't in the mood for something dry or you don't like typical granola, um, this wouldn't be the bar for you. So the last bar that I have today is from Kitsch Fix. And this is a grain free company that specializes in things like granola. It's always stress free, not so sweet, five grams of protein in the bar. It's the Happy Day Chocolate Chip Granola Bar flavor. It's certified paleo, certified gluten free, certified non GMO. Um, and the only top eight allergens it contains are coconut, almonds, and walnuts. So uh, let's give it a try. So I was a little worried with this one because when I broke off a piece to try, it was like a, you could audibly hear it breaking versus the, um, this bar saves lives was sort of a more gooey because of the honey. Surprisingly, it wasn't super dry though. I would actually say it was on par with the other granola bar. So that was impressive. Also knowing that it's grain free, it had a great flavor. Um, because it's seed based, it has a different flavor than the other ones, um, rather than the grain granola. Um, and I kind of liked it. Uh, if you like sunflower seeds, the, the taste is very heavy on the sunflower seeds. So um, if you've ever had any of these products, feel free to share your thoughts on them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and check out my additional content on social media and my website at Eating Well with Rochelle. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.